Hey, how's it going? Seth here from retipster.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started with Relay. Relay is not a bank, but it's a business banking and money management platform. All of this happens online. Relay has no physical branches anywhere. So if you're starting a new business and you need to figure out where to open up your business bank account, or even if you already have your business bank account somewhere else and you're looking to move to a new place, Relay could be a pretty solid option to consider. And there's a few reasons why. First of all, they basically don't charge any fees except for really obscure things that most people don't even really do, like international wire transfers and stuff like that. And even then, the fees aren't that bad. So if you're working with a bank and you're just really tired of getting nickel and dime to death, Relay doesn't have any of that nonsense. Relay has also pretty much mastered the online onboarding process and even just doing anything in your bank account. They make online banking really easy and even fun to do. And they've got a great mobile app, so you can do pretty much anything from your phone if you want to. And you can get started in like less than 10 minutes. I'm going to show how to do it in this video and you can do it all from your computer without going anywhere and especially to those of you who may be located outside of the u.s or maybe if you're not a u.s citizen and you want to set up a u.s bank account and you're not able to travel to the u.s to physically visit a bank branch and do it all in person like most banks are going to make you do here in the u.s relay doesn't require that as long as you have your employer identification number or ein by the way i have a separate video that explains how to do that if you don't have that yet but as long as you have that and your llc registered and ready to go it's super simple to get started and you're going to see what I mean in just a minute as we go through this. And RE Tipster does have an affiliate link to Relay and if you click through this link and sign up and put at least $100 into your account, they'll give you 50 bucks for free. Not bad, right? So let's get started. So when you click through that link, you'll land on a page that might look something like this. Maybe it'll change by the time you visit it. But all you have to do is click on get started or sign up. And the first thing you're going to do here is just fill out your basic personal information. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then it's going to ask if you are an accountant or bookkeeper. So one interesting thing about Relay is that it was actually originally designed for accountants and bookkeepers because Relay got really familiar with a lot of the problems and the annoyances that accountants and bookkeepers have to deal with and how banks a lot of times don't make this easy for them. And Relay was made to make it easy for them. Relay integrates directly with a lot of the software that accountants use like QuickBooks or Xero, Gusto, Plaid, lots of other stuff like that. Chances are your accountant or bookkeeper is going to love you for doing this because it's going to make their life a lot easier. Anyway, it's just side commentary. So go ahead and fill out the rest of the info here, put in my work email. Now, once we've got all our stuff filled in, we just click create account. All right, now it's going to ask us for more information on who I am. So let's go ahead and do this. So put in my social security number. And this is the part where if you're not a U.S. citizen and not located in the U.S., I'll just make a quick note of this. So if you click no here, it's going to ask you for your citizenship, passport number, position, title, occupation, stuff like that. Things that shouldn't be too difficult for you to fill in there. And then you'll have to put in your address and all this stuff wherever you're located in the world. And you will need to have the employer identification number for your LLC or whatever kind of business entity you've created. And in in order to get your employer identification number, you will need either a social security number, which you're not going to have if you're not a U.S. citizen, or a ITIN, which is your individual taxpayer identification number. And if you don't have that yet, I've got a link to a video that can show you how to get that. So just be aware, you'll need to have that step done first before you come and do this. But as long as you have that stuff squared away, it should be pretty easy to get signed up. So I'll go back up here and I am a U.S. citizen, so I'm going to check this. I'm going to go ahead and put in my details here, and I'm going to blur this out for obvious reasons. And notice that in this first step here, it's asking for my personal home address, not my business address. So just be sure you've got your personal home address in there. Then moving on, type of business. So this business that I'm setting up is an LLC. And the legal business name, I'll put that in here. And then my employer identification number. So I've got that right here. This is a PDF I got from the IRS. And if you don't have this yet, just so you know, this is super easy and fast and free to do as long as you already have your LLC set up and you have either a social security number or a individual taxpayer identification identification number, ITIN. If you have either one of those, you should be able to get this really easily. I've got a link to a video that shows you how to do that as well. So be sure to check that out if you don't have that done yet. But I do have that done. So I'm just going to copy this number here and paste it right here. And then industry. So just pick whatever industry your business is in. So mine is real estate here. So I'm going to select that. Number of employees. So it's just me at this point. I'm the only one here. Monthly revenue. So I just started this business. So I've got nothing at this point. We'll say under a thousand dollars. And just so you know what this may trigger, I'm not totally sure, but what this might mean is that Relay is going to put some limits on how much money I can transfer every single day just until they get to know me and see that I've got a legit business that's operating. I can always request those limits to be raised if I want. And then how would you describe your business? So this particular one, I just started it. So I'm going to say I'm a new company and my cash flow fluctuates. 
And then do you plan to use Relay for the Profit First Cash Management Method? So you may be here because you're familiar with the book Profit First by Mike Michalowicz. If you haven't read that yet, I totally suggest checking it out. It's an awesome book. It's kind of a paradigm shift for a lot of people, but it's basically a money management framework for businesses, kind of like the envelope system, but for your business, where whenever you have income coming in, that income is divided among different accounts that are used for different purposes and set aside, including a profit account to make sure you don't, you know, spend your profit and lose that along the way. There's a whole book, go check it out. But a lot of banks do not make it easy to implement profit first because it's kind of a hassle to set up all these new accounts and manage things, but Relay makes it stunningly simple to do it. And that's one of the huge draws to Relay is people who are trying to do profit first and they want it to be easier than it is with their other bank. They go to Relay, it's going to be way easier. And I'll show you more about that in just a second as well. So I don't actually have any income from this business yet because I literally just started it. But uh, I think I probably will use Profit First when I start it. So I'm going to select yes here. And now my business address, I've got that all set up as well. I've got a business mailbox that I rent. So I'm going to put that mailbox here. And then state of incorporation, I'll put the state where that was incorporated in Michigan. And Europe incorporation, that was this year. And then what countries do you operate in? At this point, the plan is just to be in the U.S. So I'll put that here. And then business website. If you don't have a website, that's fine too. You can just check this box. But really what they're trying to do here is get to know, like, who are you? What kind of business is this? this? What kind of information can we see on the internet to verify that you're like a legit company and trustworthy and all this stuff? So just help tell the story of who you are and that'll kind of help them put your approval on the fast track. And then briefly describe your business operations. And my ownership percentage is 100%. Put that in there and click next. Okay, now card shipping confirmation. Please confirm the card details and the shipping information. So when you set up a Relay account, all of their debit cards are handled through Visa. So you can kind of Fill out this information here, make sure it's all correct, exactly as you want it to be printed on your card. Looks good, so I'll click next. And then ID and selfie verification. So this is kind of interesting. In order to verify your account, you have to scan this QR code with the camera app on your phone or Relay will send you a text message on your phone and you'll basically have to take like a selfie of yourself and send it to him to make sure that like you're an actual person and you are who you say you are. So I'm going to pull out my phone right now and record what my phone is doing along with this, just so you can understand what's happening here. And we'll go ahead and scan this thing. We'll open this up. We've got to give it access to my camera here. So I'll allow that. Okay. So it says place your ID on a non-reflective surface and frame it in the rectangle. So let's go ahead and do that. Got my ID right here. I'm going to blur this stuff out. Hold steady. There we go. Okay, so it's getting that already. Now take a photo of yourself. So we'll tap take a photo and we've got the uh, selfie camera going here. Hold steady. Okay, so we're all done. Now we will continue here to the registration page. It looks like it just sent me a text and I got this verification code. So we'll go back here to the screen and I'll put it in here and then we will click next. We're almost done with the application here. Okay. My account application is being reviewed. Looks like it could take them up to two to three business days, although I don't think it's going to take them that long. But I'm going to go ahead and push pause and we'll pick this back up once it's approved and I'll show you how this works. I got this email here from Relay. It looks like there's a few documents I still need to upload to complete the application. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this to complete that. Okay, it says uh, in progress or pending. Go ahead and click on view document verification. So you're almost there. Once you've uploaded your documents below, we'll be able to start verifying your information. It looks like they're looking for address verification. Please upload a bank statement or utility bill to help us verify your address. It must include your name and your address. So this will be interesting. This is a mailbox I'm using. So there is no utility bills that I have. If you're starting a business where you do have a physical mailing address with utility bills, you could obviously just do what they're asking for, but I can't do that. Uh, looks like what I might have to do is at least for the time being, switch this to my home address just because that's where I would be able to upload this information. So I'm going to have to reach out to them here and maybe get that address switched quick. So let me quick do that. I'm going to go back to this email and uh, send them a quick reply just to let them know the situation. So I'm saying, trying to complete this application. I see it's requesting a bank statement or a utility bill for my address. I don't have a bank statement because this is a new business. I also don't have a utility bill because the business address I entered is a rented mailbox at a retail mailbox store. Do you need me to change the business mailing address to my home address? And then I'm giving them my home address and then saying, I can send you a utility bill from this location if that helps. Interesting thing is I can't make that change at this point. 
right? Because there's no way I can edit what I've already submitted. They're just simply asking me for something that doesn't exist. And then also before I uh, send this email, I'm gonna upload what I do have in terms of my EIN document and my uh, Michigan formation documents, just so they can kind of see all the cards on the table, see what I have so far. Hopefully that will help them understand the situation and help them show me what I should be doing next. So go ahead and upload those things here. So in this email, I'm just saying that I've uploaded the Michigan registration documents for their reference. And I'm also just letting them know that I used a registered agent service to set up this LLC. So their mailing address is reflected on the state registration forms. So I'll send this off and we'll see what they come back with. Okay, so it's been less than an hour since I sent that email to support clarifying my address. And I got this email back from them saying that uh, it's approved and I'm ready to get started. So I'm gonna scroll down here and click on one of these. And here's my dashboard. As you can see, it looks pretty basic and user-friendly, not too intimidating. Probably the first thing I wanna do is add some money to my account. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, when I set up my operating agreement, I said that I was gonna contribute $1,000. So I'm just gonna put a thousand bucks in here. You can put in however much you want to. Remember, if you want that free 50 bucks, put in at least a hundred bucks and you'll be good to go. So go ahead and add a thousand bucks here. Looks like it's gonna take one to three business days to get there with no transaction fee. So let's click on that. It says Relay uses Finicity to connect your external account. Okay, let's see what happens here and search for your bag. So I'm gonna do this through my personal uh, bank account, which is not one of these big ones. It's a local credit union near me. So I'm gonna type out the name, let's see if it shows up. There we go, like Michigan Credit Union. Click next. Now I need to log into that account from here. It's validating my identity. All right, now uh, let's get a text to verify it's me. This is kind of cool. It's almost like connecting to two different bank accounts at once without me having to leave this to go to my credit union account. So this feels super seamless. Continue. All right, it's connecting the accounts. Okay, I'm gonna take this from my checking account. It even tells me what the balance is in that checking account. And let's go ahead and share this account with Relay. It's connecting the account. This is like making it super easy to transfer money between two accounts that aren't even in the same bank. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so the account is connected. Now let's go down here and add money to Relay. And nothing happened. Okay, let's go back up here and try this again. Here we go. So that's the checking account from Lake Michigan Credit Union. Let's click on this and we're going to add a thousand dollars. Click next here and then confirm transfer details. Click done. All right, transfer successful. That was pretty easy. And again, it says it's going to take one to three business days. That seems pretty standard. I go ahead and wait for that to happen. In the meantime, let's uh, take a look at some of the other things here. So when we go down here to uh, accounts, so this is where it's really easy to set up multiple checking accounts if you want to, whether you want to create a new account for each property you own within your LLC or uh, see if you wanted to follow the profit first method and have an account for your profit and account for your operating expenses and so on. You can do that really easily here. And if you've ever tried to do this with one of the big banks out there, you probably know it's not that easy to do it. When I tried to do this with Chase Bank, they made me like drive to a branch and sit down in person and fill out like a whole book of paperwork for each additional account I wanted to open up. And then it took a long time for that to happen. It was a huge pain. But uh, as you'll see here, you can do it in seconds with Relay. What we do is click add account. We're going to call this the taxes account and we will click create account. There we go. Account created. It was that simple and we can immediately transfer funds into it. If I had any funds here, I could just do that right here, right now. That was dead nuts easy. I think it could do this for up to 20 accounts, which is more than enough for any normal business out there. So let's go down here to auto transfer rules. I know this is another big deal and a big reason why people use Relay in the first place, because you can have it automatically distribute cash to different accounts without you even getting in here and manually doing anything. It'll just happen. So we can go down here and uh, this is maximum balance rule and you can say, Let's say every week on Monday or on Tuesday or on whatever day you want, or even like every month or every single day or twice monthly, you can specify the dollar amount that you want to have and you can select which account you want to keep it in. And then you can transfer any excess balance to whatever other account you want. You can tell it what to do right here. And then it's gonna do that on autopilot. So it's pretty cool. If you're somebody who likes to geek out on automations, and even if you're not, this is something that you can and probably should geek out on if you're using Relay, because they make it really easy. So we can click create auto transfer rule and then confirm auto transfer rule. And that thing is done, it's ready to go. And you also see this profit first rule thing where it kind of like has the profit first framework already broken out for you. So if you're a big fan of that book, 
You're going to love this. I mean, it worked perfect for just implementing that as quickly and as easily as possible. Now, if we go over here to, uh, let's see, payments. So if you ever want to make a payment to somebody, remember Relay at the time of this recording does not have like a check service. So if you ever want to like write a check, like using your own hand and pen on your desk, you can't really do that because they don't give you checkbooks. You can issue a check from the online dashboard though. And all you'd have to do is, uh, let's see here, we can create a new payment and we can select the recipient of this payment. And since I've never paid anybody before, I'd have to create a new payee and put in their payee nickname and then also put in their email and their account classification, whether it's business or personal, and then any memos you want to put there and then add a payment method. And if you wanted to send a check, you would just click on check. And then once you issue this payment, it'll get sent to them within seven to 10 business days. So that's how that works. And uh, you could also do you know, an ACH transfer, which is gonna be free. It's not gonna cost you anything. Domestic wires cost $5 to send and international wires cost $10 to send. There aren't many things that Relay charges a fee for, but these are two of those things. And as you can see, it's not very expensive, but it does cost something. So just be aware of that. And then you go down here and select the source account that the money is coming from and the amount that's going to be sent, whether it's a one-time payment and the date that's going to happen and all that. It's pretty straightforward and easy to figure out. And if we go down here to bills, so this is one of those areas where you could delegate access to one of your employees so that they can get here and like only see this without seeing everything in your bank account and controlling everything. You can just say, hey, John Doe employee, I want you to be able to have access and control and take care of this section of our bank account, but you don't have to let them see and control everything. And then down here where it says approval rules, so you can create all kinds of different rules where basically if you've got an employee who's trying to send out a payment over a certain amount or a certain threshold, you can set this up so that you have to get in and approve that. So they can't just completely bleed your bank account dry without you knowing it if you're concerned about that kind of thing. All you'd have to do is select greater than and then set uh, whatever that minimum threshold is going to be. And you can specify whether it just needs your approval or your approval and somebody else's approval. You can kind of go nuts with that. It's Pretty sweet. Now, if we go down here to team, this is where you can actually add those team members and then delegate access to an employee or bookkeeper or accountant or whoever it is on your team that you want to be able to get in here and help you with this. And then down here on settings. So this is where you can update some of the basic information and what kind of notifications you do and don't get about what's going on in your bank account, which can be super helpful, especially if you are delegating anything to anybody to be able to get into your account and control stuff for you. Or if you want to be notified once you get certain payments or once certain automation happen, any of that stuff. And then integrations, this is super cool. Relay integrates with QuickBooks and Xero and a lot of other stuff like Gusto. This is the payroll software I use in my business. So that's awesome to see. Stripe, PayPal, Plaid, many other things. This is a huge convenience that a lot of other banks just haven't figured out yet, but Relay is miles ahead of the competition on this. And then if we go up here to cards, so right out of the gate, you're gonna get a business virtual card. And this is like a real legit credit card number you can use to start paying for stuff and buying stuff all over the place, but it's virtual. You don't have an actual physical card yet. And all you gotta do is click on this and you can see all the details for that card right there. If I go and click on this little eyeball icon it shows me all the numbers and that's good to start using like right now. If you do want a physical card, you can go over here. Let's uh, get out of this thing and click on business card physical. And you can see it currently says inactive. And all I'd have to do is click activate. And then that would be shipped to me. And I'd have it probably within a few business days. So we'll go ahead and close that out. And then down here for support. So one thing I think Relay does particularly well is that they do offer phone support, which is not something I've seen from many other online banks that are similar to them, which I think is awesome. Usually they just offer email support. And interestingly, when I'm logged into my account here, I actually don't even know where to find that phone number. It's really easy to talk with support by chat or send them an email, but I wasn't able to find the phone number just right in front of me anywhere. But if you just do a Google search for Relay's customer support phone number, it'll pop right up. So it does exist, but for whatever reason, I couldn't find it very easily in this back end here. But Aside from all that, hopefully that gives you a good idea of what you can expect if you decide to sign up for Relay. In terms of just ease of use, I don't really know of anything better than this right now, other than maybe Mercury, which is pretty comparable to this in terms of what you're going to get. If you do want to give Relay a try and get a little $50 sign up bonus after you put in your first $100 into your account, all you'd have to do is go to retipster.com forward slash Relay and you can help support the RE Tipster community and get your free 50 bucks. And if you want to learn even more about Relay and the pros and cons and all the stuff I was able to figure out about them before I signed up, be sure to check out my other review video where I talk about a lot of the basic details you want to know before you decide to jump in with Relay. Thanks again for watching. Watching, and I'll talk to you next time.